are excited. We are heading to Rimfasmark. It's another place we've heard so much about and never been there. But the, the, there's a whole story behind this. We've got two options. After the road, we traveled from Van Sales Rus to Askam, which was a terrible road. We know that there's a road from Rietfontein through um, Vielandersbron down to Nuniput, and then from Nuniput you can go through to Rimfasmark. That's all gravel. And the gravel road up to Nuniput apparently is in very good condition. But no one can tell us the condition of the road from Nuniput through to Rimfasmark. And that's over 200 kilometers of only gravel. And um, then the other option for us is to go around to, to uh, Uppington, around that way to get to Rimfasmark. It's all tar road. But it's also a road we've never been on before. So we have opted for the car's sake to go around Uppington Way. And also to make sure we can get fuel on a Saturday afternoon. That's the thing. We know that the fuel station in Rietfontein closed at 12 o'clock on a Saturday and um, we don't want to be able to get to Nuniput and we can't fill up with fuel. So it's best we know we'll get fuel in Uppington. Kurapan. works to me. Look at those huge mounds. Oh, for sure. So these side dippers are transporting salt. Must be. Do you know why? I know that. Why? The name of the, on the name on the truck is the name of the salt works in Oh, okay. That is crazy. That's a lot of salt, eh? I'd say. It's Saturday, so they're not working. Yeah. I wonder how they clean the salt and get it that white. Must be a process, eh? Yeah. Those on the right are still a little on the grey side. Yes. This is so cool. Caution. Only authorised vehicles for speed testing for next 55 kilometres. 250 kilometres an hour. Is the speed limit? Yeah. So we've only heard of this. We've yes. never seen anything like this before. For the next 55 kilometers, so this must be a straight, narrow, amazing road to do it on. Let's hope they test um, vehicles uh, on this Saturday afternoon. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that wild. Is, that is wild. <laughs> Let's see if the quid can do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> I don't even think it will reach 150. <laughs> Rimfasmark. Wow, that's so exciting. <laughs> One has only heard about it, hey? Yes. So excited. <laughs> I hear that area is stunning. Back on gravel. Yeah, we've been on tour long enough yes, now. Yes, yes. It is quarter to three in the afternoon and we've just hit the gravel road to Rimfasmark. I think it's about 55 kilos to go to get there. 
and we just realized we don't have cash so I called and he said no problem we can do an EFT because they don't do cards over weekends and on top of it and we're talking about the hot spring at Rimfast Mall oh yes oh sorry I forgot that piece and then he said that the road from Nunipit is terrible oh thank heavens we took the I made the decision to go straight with that Toro yes so we would have been very late today. Yep. Pretty here, eh? Hey? It's such a different landscape from where we've come. I hear they call it desert wilderness. It's fantastic. Eh? There's like a little cave in the side of that rock face. Yeah, it's Pilonki. Yeah, I just want to see if I can zoom right up. There it is. The rock formation's phenomenal and then it has a little cave in it too. Now how would one get there? You'd have to go with ropes down. We won't get there. Not today? Uh, never. <laughs> Giraffe on our way to Rimfas Mark. Camel horses, one, two, three, four. I'm looking at the incredible rock formations to the right. Yes. And you say giraffe. I thought, okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Always love seeing giraffe. One, two, three, five. There's a young one too. Oh. Sir, I love them so much. This one's quite close. Such a beautiful animal. I always choose to stop behind a bush. The little one at the back. Eh? Yes, ambling along. He's had enough of us now. But he's beautiful. Gorgeous eye. Mm. Come, we must go. Can we just? Uh, have a look oh, at that. Oh, now you've got a flight of the car starting now. Look, not that I'm a molten lava or magma expert, but that to me looks like that could have been flowing hot rock at one point, especially there towards the end. Definitely. I really get that the feeling The rounded here. look looks as if it was molten. Yes, definitely. But if you see there, you can see that's where the flow, flow tapered yeah, off. Let's go drown down a bit. That is really the feeling I'm getting when I look at those. Yes, it definitely looks as if it flowed there. Eh? Yeah, to me, definitely. Yeah. And as it hardened, it formed these ridges and stuff. Crazy. It was a sudden change when we looked again. The gravel ended and we got onto tar. The landscape is incredible here, eh? Hey? With all these flat topped hills yeah, all around. All the way around that way. Unreal. Those in front of you there are like dead flat on top. Yeah. Wow. Rimfasmarkberg, ex-military signal station. It's, it looks like it's got a walking route here. 
Yeah. Now what's interesting is, is that Rimfast Mark used to be a military testing site, eh? Right, until 1994, yeah. they say. That's incredible. So I suppose one gets to the signal station when you walk. on the route, yeah. yeah. Cool. So this seems to be, we're getting closer to Rimfast Mark. Is this not it yet? I don't think so. I think this is another an little settlement. Yeah. Uh, most probably part of Rimfast Mark. But it's pretty spread out, eh? Kai Garib Local Municipality, provision of high mast lights in Rimfast Mark and Fredes Vallei. Okay. That's dark coffee. Oh, it does, eh? Close though. Yeah. We haven't encountered one vehicle on this road. No. And it's a Saturday. But the gentleman said there are a few campers. Okay. Maybe not many day visitors like us. Yeah, the goats are ever present. <laughs> That one's heavy pregnant. This is Rimfast Mark. This is Rimfast Mark, yes. Quiet, eh? Sure. Now why do I think this might be a medical facility or what is this? Doesn't it look like housing you? It's a PS. New police station building yeah. by the Department of Public Works. Okay. Crazy. Wow. Fancy, eh? And quite big. Yeah. I suppose the area they serve is quite big. Yeah. Welcome to the first mark police okay. station. Okay. There is a big facility, Ooh. eh? to the hot springs first yes just in case the hours for day visitors are different and they do close some club somewhere what is this bucket eradication and provision of sanitation ah. wonderful <laughs> Post office agency. And there's sport facilities, smart for mission station. For mission station. Interesting. Wow. And this is a library. Okay, look how cute. Small building, eh? Donated by the or sponsored by the Artia Coffee. Fantastic. It's, a, it's an Artia Coffee footprint. Brilliant, eh? Yeah. Oh, did you read there? Sunsets are proof that every day can end beautifully. <laughs> oh, how it's wonderful true. is that? That is so true. Look here, ring fast mark. Yeah. You're ticking off quite a few bucket list items this trip aren't the, you? Really, really. I've, I've heard so much about Rimfast Mark and I've always wanted to come here. And I'm so glad I've got the opportunity now. But it's it's the community but it's the area as well which is amazing. And I think the story. Yes. That's the primary school. 
Does that mean law school rimfas mark Rooms Catholic? Or what do you think Arkai well, means? It could be because there's a cross on the side of the school building. And with a sports ground for the mission station? Yes. I never thought that. You guess the crosses, yeah? Yes, the three crosses. Yes. Here's an old building. Oh. Love the bell tower. Yes. Limfas Mark Roman Catholic Primary School. There you go. That's not a new building, that's an old building. Well, I mean, they did settle here in the 1930s. Yes, they did. So that's a long time ago. So this is a mission station. This looks like it's the Roman Catholic mission station. I have no other idea what RC could stand for. It must be. This broken down. Yeah, this one is broken down. But this looks. This definitely looks like, and it's got the cross on top. Just want to see if there's signal. So after Sonny did a bit of digging, she found out that uh, the Roman Catholic mission was established here in 1933, and uh, people started settling around the mission, and they. Um, because of a tungsten and rose quartz mine. In the area, yeah. yeah. So it's interesting. Never knew that it had a Roman Catholic connection. No, not at all. Well, these little things look like little chalets or cottages. We think, look at the rose quartz in the yes. walls. And the, it looks, it looks um, fairly new, those little yeah. cottages. So they either for holiday makers or for nuns. Yes. We think. Speculating. <laughs> None of these buildings are inhabited anymore. No. This is definitely functional. Yeah, I don't get the derelict feeling at the school like I do at the other buildings. Yeah. It's just again, oh, look at your quiver tree. Yeah, beautiful, eh? It's a beautiful one too. Yeah. Look at the rose quartz in this yeah, column. Yeah, so you can see it's everywhere, hey? Yeah. Beautiful colour. I get the trapped in time situation here. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. There's a building behind the school. Can we turn left here? Yeah. Yes. I just turned around for the sun. The donkey cart turned over there around yes. the corner. And Everyone's running to go have a look. Does look like one gentleman hurt his shoulder. Two of them now, but I don't want to form that. No, of course no. not. Um, this is a clinic. Primary health care clinic. Unfortunately for them, it's closed now. Yep, nobody can help them, yeah. It's an extensive facility, which yeah. is great to see, eh? Amazing. Medical is always high on my list for these remote communities because they need it. Yeah, that's for sure. That's good to see. But it's a pretty, it's not open now. It's only operational from 7.30 until... Monday to Friday. Uh, 4 in the afternoon. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Look at this crazy. We've given up trying to speculate on what is volcanic and what not. Yes, exactly. We'll just settle for everything is kind of <laughs> volcanic. Yeah. Go in here. Do it. 
so interesting that I see the beds outside and I forgot to say when we left Rietfontein that I spoke to a lady there who has been living there since she was a child yeah. and I asked why the beds are outside and I kind of knew but I had to get confirmation that it gets so hot that they sleep outside. Wow, okay, and she that's says, interesting. summer and winter they sleep outside and she says when family come from Springbok I think she said they're so happy to just be sleeping outside in the <laughs> open air. I said I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, this is where they put one of those new light masts up you see. Oh the project all over hey. Yes. So our question is do they work when it's load shedding? Yeah that I'd like to know. plan doesn't work, change the plan. Yes, don't give up. This is pretty. Fast mark hot springs four kilos. That will be interesting to see. Very cool. Did you know that it's the Northern Cape's only hot spring? No, I didn't know that. Actually, I didn't even know there were hot springs here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I want to just explain a little bit. Remember, we said in the 1933. Uh, in 1933 they settled around the Roman Catholic mission yes. and they were Corsa, Damara, Herero, Nama and Kalets. All those different um, ethnic tribes, tribes yes. in South Africa. And then yes. in 1974 they were forcibly removed and the 8th Infantry Battalion took over and this is when it became the military testing site until 1994. Oh. Okay. You know, it, it doesn't surprise me because if I'm not mistaken, I think the 8th Infantry Battalion is from Uppington. Okay, yeah. well that would make sense. Yes. And then it became an area for officers only. But then a certain group of the Damaras went to a certain area in Namibia. They were given land there and they became known as the Limfas Market. Okay. And after 1994, they... Um, submitted a land claim and their land restitution process or application was successful and they gradually started returning to the area. Okay. Unsurprisingly, rimfasmark.co.za will fill in any blanks for anyone who needs further information. Okay. Oh, a tourism office. I wonder if this is where Lawrence's where I sp who I spoke to. Yes. That was so nice of him, eh? Yeah. They waited for us. That's yes. so sweet. Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah. He gave you a little bit of information about the roads too. Yes. So he says I shouldn't take the road through to Akrabis from the hot springs. He says it's terrible. He says, he says he did it with his bucky. And it took him over an hour just with the bucky for 40 k. So. And he hung in the air at one spot yes, with so unevenness. I ain't gonna do that. We'll just have to go back Kakamas way. 
all good with me. I just want to be safe and not get stuck somewhere. That's it. And I want to see the hot springs. Let's go check it out. So they were, he was very kind. He gave us the banking details. Yes. And we'll do the EFT this evening. Yep. Yep. 70 rand per person. Yeah. If I haven't mentioned it already. No, no that's cool. Fantastic. Oh, it's like these heaps of rocks again, yeah. but the rocks are not pebbles. No. Serious rocks. He says there's one person camping. Yeah. And they're expecting us. <laughs> well, he, said, he said that we're coming. So, you know the explanation you gave me, and this is just my head telling me that. But look how beautiful this is. Sure. It's fantastic. Look at these rocks. <laughs> um, the explanation you gave me about the violent volcanic activity here. Yeah? Oh, you love that, eh? Yes. That's why there's hot springs here. Because of the underground heat. The underground water gets heated up with the heat from underground. That would make sense, eh? And I was thinking about the story of how it got its name. With a, with a bushman stealing livestock in the area. <laughs> uh, reportedly, reportedly, and they were tied with um, rima with like a leather straps, straps yes. to the rocks and then um, the next morning when they came to take them away they had escaped and that's how the area got to be known as Rimfas Mark and the, the townsfolk or the village folk are Rimfas Markers that's interesting apparently when they got there where they were all they found was a rima that they were used to <laughs> tie them up with to tie them up with <laughs> Oh. It's gorge. I wonder if that's where the riverbed is, the dry Molopo riverbed. Most have, probably. Have we seen anything that looked like a riverbed to you yet? Nothing yet. Uh, oh, this area is 75,000 hectares in size, so we might just miss it. Goodness gracious, babe. Please. Look at this. Fortunately, I've put concrete on it, so. No, that we won't do. This we will do. Light vehicles, they say. Wipe that one off your face. <laughs> How fantastic is this? Scary though. It's oh. too scary.
expect the road to be this bad. This is the Dry Molopo River, I think. You think so? Yes. Molopo Dry River bed. As confirmation? Yeah. <laughs> so if they've made a permanent sign, they're not expecting it to be wet anytime soon. No. Scary road, I must be honest. Now, we haven't had a scary road like this in a while, eh? No. But I wasn't really prepared for one today. Are you going in the right direction, you think? Yes, ma'am. A reprieve from the sun, eh? Yes, but look at this. This is amazing. Now I can see it properly. see how far I can get. Let's see because you don't want to miss this, eh? No, I'd love to. Oh! The donkey's down here. I read about black eagles. I'm not sure that's one. Yeah. Oh, there he just landed. The yeah. You have to try this out. Yes. <laughs> I just want to feel. It's like climbing into a bathtub. Is it? Yes. Is it nice and warm? Nice. Is it hot? That's hot water. I'm not going to go down there. That's hot water. Can you believe it? Crazy. This place is beautiful. It is incredible. Well, now I can say I've been here. It's really incredible. While you're putting on your socks, I'm going to start heading back slowly. Okay. okay. Hot springs in Rimfasmark. It was a bit of a tough walk for me. I, I know it was nothing for you. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. I just couldn't miss it. Yeah, it's fantastic. 
thought it was tough. The up, the back now was yes. tough. Bye! And I wanted to sell us crystals and uh, or rocks. Yes, those rose um, quartz. And we have no uh, cash, so we gave them sweets and chips and biscuits. Yes. They were too happy for it. How are those people camping? Fantastic, and they're all alone, yeah. Imagine at night. Yeah, fantastic. So I'm a little nervous now again. Yeah, let's get out of here. Fortunately, those people camping here with a 4x4, so. <laughs> so does Lawrence. the worst is over? I think so but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think so yet. No. <laughs> I think it's still coming. Take my head off to this little car. You can I'm out of breath from the walk <laughs> and from my nerves. And this was bad though, babe. Yeah.
Baba, it's springs. Wow. We got to see them. That's all yeah, that counts. I got to dunk my feet in them. I thought you were going to go for a full on splash. No, no. But when you didn't take your swimming trunks out, I knew. It's just, no, then we're on wet and uh uh. We've still got a long way to get the roundabout way to Akrabi Oh, so, longer than you thought. Yes. It's happened a lot on this trip, eh? Sure, because. You can't really plan arrival times and, and, and stuff. No, it's difficult. I'm happy we've explored Rimfas Mark now, but there's no accommodation in Rimfas Mark. No. No guest houses or anything like that. So, with the route that I wanted to take, leaving Rimfas Mark to Agrabis, which was only a 45 kilometer drive, that guy there by the hot springs told me, no, as I've already explained, we shouldn't take it. So, we've booked accommodation in Agrabis, but we'll go around Kakamas Way to get there now again. This massive nest in this tree. They all flew as I stopped, but hopefully they come back slowly but surely. A lot of activity at this nest. This is a beautiful nest. So incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing that they weave it like this we haven't often seen one like on our level no and so close and the size this tree should be able to carry it easily <laughs> that's what it's made for so i'm going to zoom in a little and see what it looks like closer just listen first as if they fall out. Yes. So cute. And how they know where to go in is my end. Oh, which is their house. There's no numbers on it. That one went to the wrong door. Stuff, eh? I love it. See, they've got they've gotten used to us now. Yeah. Look how they're bringing more twigs. Yes. They keep <gasps> on building the nest up. They all fly up with twigs. Yes. <sighs> well, they're not called weavers for nothing, right? It's incredible. They just keep on building and building and building. No wonder they get so huge, these nests. Bye-bye. Sorry to scare you now again. No. Oh, there they go. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Very nice. Check that blue sky. Not a cloud. Little fleeces on my side. Oh. None on mine. Blinding you, but it's beautiful. Klein begin. Yeah, we are. Ten past six, and it's getting dark quickly now. Yes. Now I 
do not which way do not know which way to go and you follow the road see how far it goes I don't know that this is right I could might be so we did pick the wrong one yes as usual but we are here Apparently we are number two. Yes, which is here. Great stuff. This is so nice. What? How lacquer is this? This is so nice. Toilet at an angle. <laughs> what I like is the tap is on that side and the shower head is on this side. Awesome. Little kitchenette here. Microwave fridge, the toot. We picked this up on our way to Rimfas Mark. We knew we had to have something to eat when we reached our accommodation in Ograbis. And uh, this is Skarpsterkis over here, lasagna and chicken pancakes. They look a bit worse for wear with the traveling on the dirt road, but it no. doesn't matter, they're going to taste amazing. With the traveling to Rimfas Mark hot springs. <laughs> That's what it is. Do you think so? Yes. <laughs> It's that time of the day again. I just showed you what we're going to eat. We're going to sit down and enjoy that together now. And uh, after that, load shedding is going to hit you at 8 o'clock. I have to stay awake until 10 o'clock because 10 o'clock the electricity comes back on and I have to download all the videos. So I think I'm going to only get to bed past 12 this evening. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So... After a good night's rest, here at Klein Begin in Ograbis, we are just going to go and have a look for something else which I didn't find because of the different route we had to take. I think uh, that was the reason why I wanted to take it, was to see that specific place. So I'm going to try and reach it from this side. I think I should be able to get to it pretty easy from this side. I don't have to go through the road that they said we shouldn't. But let me take you for a... We've had our coffee already this morning. We just lay in a bit late. Uh, we don't get to do that very often nowadays. But let me show you around here. It's beautiful, yeah. This is our unit. And there are five units over here. Three down this way. Each have got their own little spot to bry. Got a weaver. And then one more around this side. Really nice place to stay. Very close to the falls, the Ograbis Falls. Uh, we've done the falls before. dogs to greet me. Check this massive great dane. Hey, hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Mm. How are these old implements? There's where the quiddy had a rest. Someone else who befriended us last night. Hey. She's still sitting there. 
my little friend. But this was a nice sleepover, eh? Yeah. yeah. Very peaceful here. There's windows open there, everything, so she can get in the house if she wants to. Okay, good. She prefers being outside, and who yeah, wouldn't? Yeah, of course. There's so much space. Oh, the gate's open, so... I think he said that they're leaving early. Yes. Klein begin ook Yes, nice place. Very nice. again with a trailer a caravan. A caravan. <laughs> we're not going straight we're going down here to them beautiful mountains but I don't think we're going into the mountains what gets to me is that they look so small yes and then when you get to them they each one is huge enormous look at this little port yeah Walkway here, so I'm going to take a walk. Look at that. I can't help but call it the Mighty Orange. It is mighty, though. We haven't seen much of it on this trip. No. Different section. incredible okay for once I'm gonna say I'm gonna get out <laughs> you can't miss this <laughs> this is amazing
What a beautiful place, eh? Yeah, I'm glad we came here. Yeah. I mean, we've never seen a spillway like that before. No, we haven't. Not that close, anyway. No. Okay, can you imagine what it looked like before 2006? Bridge B1000. Yeah. You mean it would have been old school? I think it must have been old school. This is pretty cool too. Yeah. I just love the contrast. It's like mirror-like. Yes. On that side of the spillway. And then it's a little uh, crazier here. how many people are fishing down there yes with a, with sticks not fishing rods they've been doing it all their lives yeah I wonder where these farmers get their water from oh they don't have enough water around yeah <laughs> must be difficult <laughs> <laughs> they're fortunate eh very fortunate wow sir you know I am so happy we came to the Rinfoss Mark area. And it's such a big area. We got to see incredible things. Yes. So, yes, I mean, for me, the hot springs was fantastic. Brilliant. The yeah. road was very scary, yes. but it was worth it. <laughs> yes.